The protesters arrive at the Shell Gate Ekeba Wari, the operational office of the Heritage Operational Energy Services Limited. Carrying placards which boldly describe their demands, they chant songs of solidarity. The president of the Urobo Youth Council worldwide on behalf of the youth expressed their discontent over various alleged inhumane activities of the former operators of the lease. They also call for the probe of the outgoing Community Development Board, which was responsible for managing the resources from the oil company on behalf of the host communities. We want heritage to patronize indigenous contractors. Urobo youth should be empowered, should be given opportunity, because we knew we are those that are looking the property. We are taking care of the property, not them. Dissolved CDB board should not be deal with anymore. And the account of the CDB is going to be proved. The job of the surveillance should not be given to a foreigner. Some minutes later, officials of Heritage Operational Energy Services Limited are out to calm the frayed nerves and then invite them for a closed door discussion. At the end of the meeting, both parties appear satisfied with some of the resolutions reached, with the representative of the oil company reminding the youth of the negative effects of pipeline vandalism, as well as the need to maintain a cordial relationship between the communities and the oil companies. Heritage has very good intentions for the community, and whatever must have gone wrong in the past, went wrong not as a result of heritage, but as a result of some players, which has to be corrected. Agitations such as these are not new in this region, with the same issues ranging from unemployment and lack of other basic and essential infrastructure being the remote causes. The best approach is expected to find not just a temporary, but a more lasting solution that will suit all parties concerned.